things you wouldn't hear on a cookery show. You can, of course, make your own pasta if you've got too much time on your hands, you pretentious prick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're waiting for the rice to cook, that'll take another five or six minutes, I'm going for a poo. <laughs> So I used to be one of those chefs that shouts and swears a lot, but then I discovered oven gloves. <laughs> Today I'm using a Smeg fridge, which is just like a normal fridge that I don't clean regularly enough. <laughs> if you're having trouble whipping them up into stiff peaks, have you tried gently cupping their balls? <laughs> After you've come home pissed. <laughs> Tonight we're doing a cup of soup that's slightly gone past its best before date. <laughs> it tastes a bit better if you put some HP sauce in it. <laughs> now try not to drizzle too much oil on the lamb or it will wriggle free and escape. I don't know about you, but I really love upside-down pineapple cake, or as Australians call it, pineapple cake. <laughs> or, as Australian pineapples call it, the cake of death. <laughs> <laughs> well, I enjoyed this meal so much when I had it in a Parisian restaurant that I asked the chef what it was called. So this is my own version of fuck off English. <laughs> These ginger nuts are soft and chewy and I can't stop going back for more. And the rest of the honeymoon is pretty good too. Love, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Berry is quite critical of this soggy bottom, but to be fair, in this kind of heat, it's kind of unavoidable. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Pests! <laughs> so this one, you just stick it in the oven, turn up to 190, have a nap. When the smoke alarm goes off, it's done! <laughs> well, you may be wondering, what is the perfect accompaniment to a Scotch egg? Simple. Scotch sperm. <laughs> <laughs> now, my wife absolutely loves street food, but that's probably because I married a pigeon. for this recipe, I like to use pork lardons, but my producer doesn't listen, so I spent the entire morning making some pigs very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so today, I'm going to be making banana wine, and I'm going to be pressing the skins with my bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> Tackling that very difficult dish, which is the potato waffle that fell out of the packet months ago and has been stuck in the ice. <laughs> First thing we need is a very sharp knife. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nigella Lawson, and welcome to the non-innuendo cookery hour where we'll be teaching you how to cock, cook, dick, wank. <laughs> <laughs> 